Uh, it is almost a year since humanity has been tormented by COVID. Across the world, economic output has plummeted, uh, and a million and a half people have died. All the time, we've been waiting and hoping for the day when the searchlights of science would pick out our invisible enemy and give us the power to stop that enemy from making us ill. And now the scientists have done it. And they've used the virus itself to perform a kind of biological jujitsu to turn the virus on itself in the form of a, of a vaccine, in a, an idea that I think was pioneered in this country by Edward Jenner in 1796. And today, we can announce that the government has accepted the recommendation from the Independent uh, Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency to approve the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine for distribution across the United Kingdom. After months of clinical trials involving thousands of people uh, to ensure that the vaccine meets the strictest internationally recognised standards of safety, quality and effectiveness. Thanks to the fantastic work of Kate Bingham and the Vaccines Task Force, we've purchased more than 350 million doses of seven different vaccine candidates. And the UK was the first country in the world to pre-order supplies of this Pfizer vaccine, securing 40 million doses. Through our winter plan, the NHS has been preparing for the biggest programme of mass vaccination in the history of the UK, and that's going to begin next week. And in line with the advice of the Independent Joint Committee on Vaccination and Immunisation, the first phase will include care home residents, health and care staff, the elderly and those who are clinically extremely vulnerable. But there are immense logistical challenges. The virus has got to be stored at minus 70 degrees. Each person needs two injections three weeks apart. So it will inevitably take some months before all the most vulnerable are protected, long, uh, cold months. So it's all the more vital that as we celebrate this scientific achievement, we're not carried away uh, with over-optimism or fall into the uh, naive belief that the struggle is over. It's not. We've got to stick to our winter plan a comprehensive program to suppress the virus, protect the NHS and the vulnerable, keep education and the economy going, and use treatments, testing and vaccines to enable us to return to much closer to normal by the spring. 